Greetings aspirants, welcome to a special snippet brought to you by Shankar AS Academy. In this video essay, we will see about an hurdle that every aspirant has to overcome to effectively clear this examination. The hurdle that I am talking about is procrastination. First, I must ask you one thing, do you procrastinate? If yes, you are not alone. Even I will procrastinate sometimes. Okay, see not just you and me. Even people who are considered at the top of their field will have to deal with the habit of procrastination at one point of their life. Some sources say that the great Italian polymath Leonardo da Vinci took 16 long years to complete his masterpiece Mona Lisa. So, if you, me and Mr. Da Vinci has one thing in common, we all procrastinate. But you no need to worry about that. There are some tricks and tricks which you can follow to deal with procrastination. So, before seeing the tips and tricks to deal with the habit of procrastination, first let us understand what is procrastination, the reasons why we procrastinate and finally let us see the tips and tricks to overcome procrastination. Okay, first what is procrastination? See, procrastination is nothing but your present self robbing the happiness of your future self. Okay? So, what you are effectively doing is, you are choosing temporary short term happiness over long term happiness. This is what happens during procrastination. Now, let us see the reasons why we procrastinate. See, the reasons for procrastination can be broadly classified under two heads. First is the biological reason and the second is the psychological reasons. Okay, first let us take the biological reasons for procrastination. See, in our brain, there is a constant battle between our limbic system and our prefrontal cortex. So, what is the limbic system? See, the limbic system deals with our emotional and behavioral response. Okay, it deals with our fight or flight response. See, the limbic system evolved way earlier than the prefrontal cortex. It is the dominant part of our brain. See, consider this scenario. You are walking down the road and a dog starts chasing you. At that moment, you don't have time to take complex decision. You have to instantly start running from that situation. See, our, our limbic system has evolved to perfectly deal with that kind of situation. Okay? So, in that particular situation, what our limbic system will do is, it will instantly command our body to start running away. Okay? So, basically, our limbic system is motivated by instant gratification. This is about the limbic system. Now, let us look at the prefrontal cortex. So, as I already said, the prefrontal cortex evolved a little later. So, compared to the uh, our limbic system, the prefrontal cortex is little less dominant. Okay, the prefrontal cortex is the area which deals with complex problem solving and decision making. So, this is the part of our brain which differentiates us from the animals. See, animals are purely motivated by stimulus. But us human beings, we are motivated by decisions which is based on rationality. But in the fight between the limbic system and the prefrontal cortex, it is the limbic system that comes as a successful one. Because as I already said, it evolved earlier and it is the dominant part of our brain. Okay? So, this is the biological reason why we procrastinate. See, our limbic system focuses on instant gratification. And in the fight between the limbic system and the prefrontal cortex, our limbic system comes out as successful. So, we are designed to choose instant gratification over long term big time rewards. So, this is the biological reason why we procrastinate. Okay? Now, let us see the psychological reasons why we procrastinate. See, psychologically, there are some triggers that pushes us towards procrastination. Let us see some triggers. See, the most common trigger that most of the aspirant face is the fear and anxiety. See, consider this scenario. You are given a book. We are asked to read the book just for the sake of reading. See, in that scenario, we will happily read it. But if the same book is given and we are asked to read the book for an examination, 
we get fear and anxiety. In that case, we will start procrastinating. See, in that particular scenario, we are procrastinating not because of laziness or lack of time management. We are procrastinating because of emotional management, lack of emotional management. Okay, so in this case, you must first identify this trigger. Only if you identify this trigger, you can effectively find solution for this. See, for this particular case, I have to quote an important thing. See, I don't remember the quote exactly, but the essence of the quote is that only the wise man knows the difference between what is under his control and what is beyond his control. Okay? So, in our preparation journey, you must first come to a conclusion that what is under your control is the work you put in and what is beyond your control is the result. Only after coming to this realization, you can effectively deal with fear and anxiety. Only if you effectively deal with fear and anxiety, you can master emotional management. Only if you master emotional management, you can effectively deal with the habit of procrastination. So, this is about one trigger. The next, next common trigger is boredom. See, everyone will have their favorite subject, right? And similarly, everyone will have a subject which they resent to the core. See, in this, I am going to use my personal example. See, initially, during the start of my preparation, I used to resent art and culture and the ancient India. See, the common reason for resentment is two. One thing is, if you don't find the subject interesting, you will resent the subject. And the next common reason is, if you find the subject very hard, you will resent. See, in my case, in regards to ancient India and art and culture, my resentment was not because of I found the subject less interesting, but because the fact that when I read the subject, I was not able to recollect the facts. So, when I was not able to recollect the facts, I was harsh on myself. So, this created a negative feeling. See, when I discussed about the biological reasons for procrastination, I mentioned about the limbic system, right? So, evolutionarily, what our limbic system has been designed to do is that it will take all the measures in its hand to avoid negative feelings. So, in this scenario, what my limbic system did is to avoid the ne negative feeling, it convinced myself to hate the subject. So, if I hate the subject, I won't read it, right? Only if I read it and I forget the facts, I will hit the negative feeling. Okay? So, to avoid that negative feeling totally, my brain tricked myself to hate the subject. So, only after identifying this, I was able to deal with it. Okay? So, what I did was, I started practicing self-compassion. Okay? I started forgiving myself. See, I came to a realization that not everyone will have eidetic memory like Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory. It is natural and it is very human to forget facts. Only after coming to this realization, I was able to forgive myself. Only after I was able to forgive myself, I started focusing on the solution rather than the problem. See, in this case, the problem is I was forgetting facts. And the solution is I was not able to revise properly. So, to address the problem, I started revising. See, even after revising, sometimes I will forget some facts. So, in that case also, I started, uh, I started practicing self-compassion. Okay? So, when I start forgetting facts, what I did was, I started revising. When every time I start forgetting facts, I will revise. Instead of being hard on myself and which will lead to negative feeling. So, I started revising and I started addressing the problem. So, in this case also, I understood my trigger. Only after understanding my trigger, I was able to address it. So, these are two common triggers that most of the aspirants will face during their preparation. So, some other triggers are like uh, lack of motivation, obsession towards uh, perfection and uh, distractions. And finally, the lie that we keep saying ourselves that we will work well under stress. See, not everyone is MS Dhoni. Everyone under stress will perform poorly only. So, 
if you say the lie that you will perform well under stress and push back your deadlines you are just lying to yourself so these are the common triggers that will push you into procrastinating so these are the psychological reasons for procrastinating so until now we saw what is procrastination and the reasons for procrastination now let us see how to effectively overcome the habit of procrastination okay see while discussing about the psychological reasons for procrastination itself i mentioned three solutions to overcome it let me rephrase it again first is you must do a self assessment you must first identify your triggers only after identifying your triggers you can easily overcome it so this is the first thing that you must practice to overcome the habit of procrastination the second thing is you have to be self compassionate you have to forgive yourself only if you forgive yourself you will avoid the negative feeling only if you avoid the negative feeling you can take the steps to look at the solutions rather than focusing on the problems and the third thing is practicing emotional management see only after mastering emotional management you can effectively deal with fear and anxiety only if you deal with fear and anxiety better you can overcome the habit of procrastination see these three things that i mentioned will help you in making a behavioral change to address the habit of procrastination at the root itself so these are the changes you have to make see to make these behavioral changes there are some tips and tricks which you can follow okay now let us see the tips and tricks the first thing you can do is face your fear while you are studying study the subjects which you find most difficult first okay see if you do that after completing it all the other parts will become easy you will become more productive okay so come out of your comfort zone and complete the difficult part first this is the first trick now let us look at the second trick which is the 30 minute rule see the 30 minute rule is very simple while reading work hard work very hard and give your full efforts for 30 minutes after working hard for 30 minutes have a break for 10 minutes if you follow this 30 minute rule you can study effectively for a long time okay the next is divide your goal into smaller chunks okay see if you want to read the entire uh, modern india book uh break it into smaller chunks uh keep a goal that you will read two chapters of modern india today see the important advantage of breaking your goals into smaller chunks is that every time you complete a smaller goal you will feel a sense of accomplishment so every time you complete your goal there will be a positive feedback so if you get into this positive feedback loop you can effectively overcome procrastination the fourth trick is work in public when i say work in public what i mean is that use library or study hall see what happens when you go to a library or study hall is that you will have a positive pressure on you see lot of aspirants will be around you in reading right so it will indirectly put a positive pressure on you so this positive pressure will help you deal with the habit of procrastination the final trick is accountability see while reading form small study groups and be accountable to that study group okay see this accountability also puts a positive pressure on you so if you are not comfortable with forming a study group be accountable to someone who you trust the most someone who wishes you well and wants to see you succeed this someone can be your father or your mother or your close friend be truthful to them and be totally accountable to them this will put a positive pressure on you and it will help you overcome procrastination so these are the five tricks first is do the worst thing first second is the 30 minute rule the third is divide your work into smaller chunks fourth is work in public and the fifth one is 
building a accountability body. See, these five tips and tricks will help you in dealing with the habit of procrastination. See, I want to end this video discussion or the video essay in a positive or a funny note. See, I don't know if everybody know about the English series The Office. See, actually, it is one of my favorite uh, TV shows. In one of the episode, uh, one of the lead characters, Michael Scott, will ask White Shrewd what is the best advice he has given him. For that, Dwight will reply, don't be an idiot. And Dwight will go on to say, this advice helped me a lot. And he will say that whenever he is faced with something, he will ask himself, would an idiot do it? If yes, he won't do that thing. So, this may appear funny or crass to someone. But you have to dig deeper. See, what actually Michael Scott advised, advised Dwight Shoot here is that, he advised him to practice mindfulness. See, this entire video essay can be summarized by this word, mindfulness. You have to practice mindfulness. See, to avoid procrastination also, you have to practice mindfulness. So, every time you are about to do something, just question yourself. Be mindful of that action and question yourself whether this action will benefit my future self. Okay? If answer is yes, go ahead with the action. If the answer is no, don't do that. Okay? So, be mindful. Every time you are about to do something, just ask the question whether this action will help my future self. If yes, do the action. If no, don't do it. This will help you in addressing procrastination. Okay? That's all for this video essay. Uh, if you like this video, like, comment and share. And if you have any query with this video, post it in the comment section. I will meet you in a future video. Thank you.